What's good YouTube? It's Story of Sam back at it again with a brand new video. And in today's video, we have another dribble tutorial for you guys. As you know, I love dropping these dribble tutorials. And I find the crazy good move in the game like a couple days ago. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. It creates so much space and it's super easy to green off of and just make the shot in general. But if you guys are new to the channel, we post anything and everything NBA 2K20. So make sure to smash that subscribe button and drop a like on the video. Whenever I say drop a like on the video, no one even likes the video. So just drop a like on the video for real this time. So go to the animation store right now. Get Hop Jumper Normal 14. As you see in um, the little animation, gets a super long step back move. And I'll teach you guys exactly how to do that in today's video. Just make sure to stay tuned. Make sure you guys get Normal 14 on. That's all you have to do. Let's get right back into the video. Okay, guys. So now that we are back into the my core and we have Hop Jumper Normal 14 equipped, all we have to do to activate this move is hold R2 and run a certain direction. I'm just going to run left here and then hold the right stick straight back. Just this is what I'm going to do. Run, hold the right stick straight back. We're going to get a little animation just like that one. It's going to step you back super far. It's really good to do to like get on the three point line. And what you can do, you can keep it a moving shot like that one. But I feel like that one is a little bit harder to make keeping it moving. But a good move I like to do is what I do is I'll do the move. And before he shoots it, stop myself. My team, my defender would jump right by and take an easy layup right there. I found that to be one of the more effective moves. And you can drive right by him. But if they don't come up to you, what you can do is step back, wait for a guy to settle, and then pull up a shot. That seems to be more effective in my opinion, but you can try it either way. I would recommend using a difficult shot to badge for this move because obviously it is a moving shot. And difficult shots helps a lot with moving shots. And obviously badges don't, like badges don't affect my court. So if I'm breaking a lot, it doesn't, it's not actually like this, like green right there, but in the park it is much better when you have all your badges kicking in. Another great move that I like to combo out of this is I like to go in the post and I like to do a little bit of a post cheese and when people like back up on me, I'll just post cheese and then do the move. Boom, right there. And then it's a super easy move to do. You can get tons of buckets on it. It's just super easy to do. Like it's really simple. All I gotta do is hold down on the right stick and you have to hold down on the right stick. You can't press square. Like that's the one hard thing about the shot. You can't shoot with the square button. It must be hold down on the right stick because that's how you activate the hop jumper. To activate the hop jumper, you just hold down on the right stick as we said. And you'll get this move guys, simple as that. It was a short video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We are super close to 300 subs and I would be greatly appreciative if you hit that sub button. Without further ado guys, it's been Story of Sam and I'm out y'all.